What's going on world? It's your boy Big Chips here and today we're coming back with part number five and that is time goals. So this has been a five part series and we're at number five. There's something about five, right? Yeah. Dagger right there is. So stick with your boy Big Chips from BizandChips.com and we will be back in five. All right, family, family, welcome back. We are actually getting into part five here, and we're going to take this serious because there's something about five, and it's about to just explode, right? But we're talking about time goals, all right? What I want you to understand is that goals are simply dreams with a timeline, all right? If you ask somebody what their dreams are, they can spout them off like that, right? We all do, and that's okay. That, that's perfect. That's what you want to happen. But here's the issue at hand, okay? And this is where I want you to go with it. If you ask somebody what their goals are, just immediate, short-term, and long-term, they have not a clue. Or they, they give you some half-hearted answer that doesn't even make sense on what their dreams are. It's just so total different realities. So today I want you to think about that. We went through the five parts of this. We've went through specific goals, setting measurable goals, setting achievable goals, realistic goals. Now let's time that goal out, okay? So, for instance, you are building a business online. Your goal is, whether it be people or sales, whatever you're selling, is say you want to make five sales, okay, or five people, you know, whatever the case may be. You just want to get five, right? And you want to teach those five to get five and those five to get five who get five who get five and you just build this arsenal of people mm -hmm. you like what I did that but what you what you want to do is you want to focus on how are you going to time this out what is your time frame we're creatures of nature here when we build a business and we start doing this this thing this internet marketing thing you want to set a time on how long you're going to devote to this scenario so this scenario is to get five people. So say you only want to get these five people in a month. Seem realistic? Because a lot of you think five people, I can't get five people. That's just too hard. I can't get that. So we're going to make it realistic. Five people in a month. All right. Everybody knows five people. All right. So what we do is we're going to focus the first week on one. All right. That is our timed objective. So we're going to try to get one per week, the first three weeks, and on that fourth week, we're going to get two. So we get our five people. So what I want you to do is focus your, your methods, whatever that be, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Pinterest, paid ads like Facebook, Google, whatever it is you're doing, uh, PPC, PPV, CPC, whatever it is that you're, make that your objective, whatever that is, okay? And focus on that and get it done. The whole point of making a goal is to accomplish it. So just in this one instance, we set a specific goal. We specifically want to get five people. We made it measurable. We'll know that we've accomplished this in a month's time because we want to make get five people. So when we get that five, we're done. We want to make it achievable. Everybody knows five people. Okay, that's five people. Very simple. All right. And you want to make it realistic. Realistically, everyone knows five people. And you can change somebody's life with what you're doing if you believe in what you're doing. right? And you can help somebody to change their life and have them change the lives of others. And so goes a progression. Right back to the full circle. right? So specific, measurable, achievable, realistic. And now we've set a time limit. Our time limit is a month. So now you can plan your days, you can plan your weeks, and how you actually accomplish this. So you make your SMART goal, and then you can even make that goal a SMART goal. 
so that you can actually measure it out and guarantee you're going to get it. Now, I got a lot of stuff on the old whiteboard back here, and it, it changes from day to day, but right now I'm, I've got some logic stuff going on that I'm working with. So I, I'm not blowing it up like I normally do, but pieces of paper. I've, I've got paper, like, like right here is basically what I'm doing for today. All right, these are all the objectives that I've got to do today. And when I get that done, my day is complete. So one of those, okay, one of those is video. I'm doing that now, so I'll have to edit it. I've got my Facebook post. I've already made a few, but I'm going to add this in. So like my first three things here are all together. So, I mean, they all go hand in hand. So it's just making sure that you continually reach your objective, whatever that is, whether it's getting a sign up, going through your list, going to the store, coming back, washing your feet, whatever you, whatever that is, you know what your objectives are for the day. So what is it going to take to accomplish it? Wake up fresh and renewed. What is it that you need to do today? Write it all down. Set a time limit. Set them up in importance. Which one's most important? Which one do you need to do next? Which one do you want to do last? You know, my normal goal is when I wake up, I have a little Bible time. I have a little reading or self-education time to where I can give more value. Because I learned something and I follow the LTB method. I learn, teach, and do. So, and baby girl's crying, so I'm going to have to get up here so I can go handle that and give her some little bit of lovings. But that's the whole point, is to make a point to make a goal. You know, smart goals means smart money, means faster money, means more money. So when you make your goals, keep that in mind. You're not doing it for somebody over here. You're not doing it for Joe Blow down the road. You're doing it for you. And these goals are for you to make you successful. All right? And that's all it is. It's the power of five, right? Five just seems like a sexy number. Yeah, you know, I say five and it makes me smile. I don't know why. So if you don't feel if you don't feel sexy in your business, if you don't feel like a champion, if you don't feel like a rock star in what you're doing, if your heart is not in your business, you're doing the wrong thing, friend. Whether that be a job or whether you're in an online marketing opportunity. You need to find something that's going to help you give you that drive. So if you're not happy in your business and your heart's not in it, you need to get with your boy Big Chips and Business. We're going to help you take business to the next level and beyond because that's our mission in life is to make sure that our people are going the right way. I mean, we give trainings. We do everything that we do, but we want to help you to get there. So we've got a mass of things that you can do. But it's all about building who you are, building up your spirit, building up your thoughts, building up your mind, building up your action taking skills. All right. So the best way you can do that is to realize that you need to have confidence. So if you haven't done that, go back to my series, like the nine factors of ultimate confidence. OK, this this series, Smart Goals, is actually spawning from part five of that nine part series. So this five-part series, what is it about five? Huh? There's just something, something about it. But go through that. Get yourself in order. Believe in yourself. Because your boy Big Chips and BizNut, we both believe in it. And we just know that you can do it. And this is not as hard as you make it to be. The marketing world is actually pretty simple. You get paid to build relationships. So start building them today by setting your SMART goals and setting yourself into the right place of mind. All right. So this message has been brought to you by your boy, Big Chips, from bizandchips.com. I will see you on the other side. Make it a great day, Bob. I dare you. Boom. <laughs>